Okay, so this video has been a while coming. I've actually had two Shein, Shine, I don't know, shipments that have come in with different stuff. Um, the second one I ordered because the one thing in the first shipment didn't fit right. So I'm gonna give it all to you now. Hopefully this video is not super duper long, but I'm gonna tell you what I liked and what I didn't like from this big two, two big orders from Shein. All right, first up we have this, I said leopardy kind of print, but it's giving me a lot of like pebbles, pebbles from Flintstone vibes. And this I, I bought and I already wore it when I went to Las Vegas last week, um, but it looks just like a regular top, right? And it was chilly in Las Vegas, so no one got to see the cute back of this, but you guys will. So this is what the back of it looks like. I just, I like it a lot because it's something a little bit different. You could even get away with wearing this to the office if you wore it with a, like a black jacket. So I like this a lot. I think I'm actually going to order this cut in some other pieces too. And this is a size large. This was also a top that I loved, took to Las Vegas. Um, I'm also ordering this one in probably some other colors. This is a size large. It is a wrap cami top. Um, the only thing I wish, I wish this top was just a little bit longer to hide some of this area, but I'm okay with it. Um, I like it. It is open uh, through the inside of it there. Um, and then this is what the back looks like. It comes up sort of and does a racer back thing, but I like this a lot. Wrap cami in a size large. This one, I'm pretty sure it's going back. I'm wearing it with a new bra, so don't censor me. Um, but it is definitely see-through, definitely see-through on the bottom. Um, in a size large, I really want to like it, but I also really don't want to wear something underneath it. So let me know what you think in the comments what this one is like. I mean, it's cute. I like the cut. I just wish there were some things different. Same cut as the leopard slash pebbles one, this time in like a satiny black. Um, I like these tops a lot. I especially like the back detailing of them. This is a not quite peplum, not quite I don't know what top. This is a zero XL. Um, I'm not sure what my size really is. I measured, I measured all of the things. Um, I could send this back. I kind of like it though. I like, I like the colors of it. I'm undecided still a bit see-through-y. I'm not bothered by it though. I bought this to wear to Jamaica because it's super light and it's going to be really, really warm there. Um, this also will be nice for Pennsylvania summers where some days it can be like, you know, 90 and a lot of humidity. So I don't know. I may look and see if I can find this in um, other sizing, but this was from the plus section and it was a zero X. And as you see, I have a, I have quite a bit of extra room um, in here, but I do like the top quite a bit. Okay. I'm really liking this tank a lot, a lot, a lot. It's got this kind of ruching thing that you can do up here on the side. Nothing special about the back. Um, this is a gray color and it's an, a size extra large. This one I'm going to exchange because I could go down at least to a large and maybe even to a medium. I'm not super sure, but I like this because it's just a good solid to have. And I've recently begun to discover like pants that are not blue or black or maybe have a pattern in them. And I think just having a, some solid tops to go along with them would be a really good idea. So I like this, but I am gonna switch it out for a different size. Okay, this I just kind of feel meh about. Um, you've seen Nike pants probably. This kind of feels like Nike shirt. Um, it's in a size extra large in dusty rows. I could have definitely gone smaller in it. Um, I got this for like office kind of thing. Um, but I think I would have to maybe wear a cami underneath it as well. So this is going back. I may look for a different color and different sizing in this shirt. Okay, this dress and the next dress I ordered in two different shipments. Um, and I ordered this one, not sure of sizing. Um, and I realized that I loved the cut of it. It is a wrap, faux wrap dress. It does open up. I'm touching skin underneath here, but it's super light, like a poly blend. Um, and it is like a high low, just below the knee on the front and down to my heels on the back. And I'm five, five and a half. Don't forget the half. But I like this a lot, but it is, it's quite big, right? I've got a lot of extra room. And this is a 1XL um, in this. So I did reorder and got a slightly different color in a large. So I'm going to put that on next. Okay. How does, 
how do people do all these try on videos and like their hair still looks good? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> okay, so this is the same style of dress in a large. This one came with a tie. The other one did not. Um, I'm still wearing my jeans underneath here, but still have my jeans on underneath my dress. Um, but it is just below the knees on the front. Back goes down to my heels, but I like this faux wrap, this crisscross kind of look to it um, quite a bit. This is a size large, and I think the straps are adjustable. Yeah, the straps are adjustable, so I can, you know, tighten these up just a little bit and bring it in, make this look even better. But I like this a lot. It's a poly blend, super light, um, would be not something that would be bothersome even in like high humidity kind of weather. And that's again why I bought this. I bought this to go to Jamaica where I'm expecting it to be very warm and also very humid. So I like this wrap dress a lot. Okay, this is the only bathing suit that I'm going to show you. Um, I am pretty sure I'm keeping this bathing suit even though I'm not a super fan of like the boy short, like the leg and the bottom of them. I really just like the way the top looks and it goes super cute with this leopard print wrap. Leopard print wrap is in a size large, and this suit, I think, is in an extra large. Yeah, this is an extra large in the suit. But I like it because it's got the ruching across the belly. Um, the back is a little bit of a crisscross. Um, but I like this. I like it. I'm not sold on the bottom. I have to really think about it because it's not like a bathing suit bottom. Like, it's more of a boy short. And I was trying and playing around with some other types of bottoms. I got a few solo bottoms. They're all going back. Um, I am going to order some more skirt-like bottoms to go with some tops that I already had. Um, I'm just not, it's not that they don't fit well, it's not that they're not made well. I'm just not at a point where I'm super comfortable in something that doesn't have like a skirt sort of thing on the bottom. It's a me thing. Um, the suits though, they're, they're made very, very well. These actually have molded cups and the straps are adjustable. Yeah, the straps are adjustable as far as length. So I really am digging the Shein suits. Um, this one, probably gonna go in and dig and look and see if I can find something with this kind of top with a different sort of bottom to it. This is my shirt that's back on, but I have on these kind of crocodile print leggings. I like them a lot. Um, they are pretty stretchy considering they have a print on them. Um, I did buy an extra large. I could have bought a size large in these, um, but I think I may just keep them because I like them and they're comfy. Um, I should have had these in the fall, to be perfectly honest. I should have, I should have had my first Shein haul before now. Okay, I'm sweaty and my hair's a mess. I don't know how people do this stuff. All right, so these are of the bottoms that are going back. Um, they are made well. Um, I just thought that they would maybe, I have thighs, you guys, I have thighs. Um, but they're made well. You can do this sort of ruching thing on the side to make them be a little shorter if you like. Um, I bought them in a size large. They do fit well. I just don't like how high up that they come. And last thing, this is an out and out no, because the straps do, they sit weirdly, they smush down the girls, um, and there's like this weird mesh stuff. I don't know, it just is not flattering against the chest. In theory, it sounds like it would be great, just this whole band like smushes down. Um, but I bought it for the, because I like the top, it has a little peplum kind of top. Colors are great, fabric feels pretty good, um, and then the, the panty, the bottom of the bikini, um, it's just like a regular, slightly cheeky kind of brief. Um, and I bought this in an XL. Um, XL fit fine. I could have probably worn a large too, but this one is an out and out no. So that's it. That's everything that I had to try on for you. Um, I'm going to return, gosh, it seems like a lot that I'm going to return, but not because of quality issues or because I didn't like it or because it fit funny. It was just because I... I'm changing in size, right? I'm changing in size, going down. So I don't know what size to buy. Um, I'm gonna grab something that everyone should have in their arsenal. This is a tape measure. Um, 
I actually got like a big pack of these from Amazon because I have them all over the house because sometimes I shop here, sometimes I shop there, upstairs in my office. And it's helpful to know, um, you know, especially if you're losing weight or gaining weight, to know exactly what your sizes are. Every single item on Shein, if you click on the size, it will show you what the bust, what the waist, what the hips measurement are. And just because it's all the same brand doesn't mean it's going to stay the same through sizes. So I highly recommend getting a measuring tape, knowing your measurements. And if you're like me and if yours is changing, then it's important to do that every time that you shop. Um, so I am sending a couple of things back. There's a few things that I really, really like and I'm so glad that I got. Um, but this, this my friends, will not be my final shopping adventure from Shein. So thanks for tuning in. Um, again, there's information down below if you're looking for a little bit of info on what I got. I'll share with you as much as I am able to go back and find. Um, and you know that trip to Jamaica that I mentioned, I earned that and I'm going on it for free thanks to my work with Perfectly Posh. If you're interested in finding out more about that, of course, you'll find that down below too. And click on that subscribe button as well. Anytime that I shop or you know do some things, I want to share it with you because this is important to me. That's how I got to this point of shopping on Shein was I watched you go and do it as well. So I'll share with you all too. Thanks guys.